Hi, how you doing? So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a quick review on an advert I've just seen. It's so good. The reason why I think it's so good is because it has, for me, just resonated because it captured so many of my childhood memories. There's a real sense of nostalgia in this advert. It's an advert by Walmart and the uh, all of the information will be below so you can check it out for yourself. And this is gonna be a bit of a spoiler, so just to warn you now, if you wanna see the advert before you see this, uh, hit the link underneath this video and you can check out the advert first. But if you've seen the advert, I just wanted to just take a moment to talk about it. It's a nice advert, it's family friendly, it's, it's, it's just a nice advert. Um, and it makes me think about when I was a child there are a number of references, popular cultural references. I spotted about 10 of them, and I want to just talk about those 10 that I saw. Now the music in the advert is um, a song called Cars by Gary Newman. Now, I didn't actually know the name of the song. I knew the song, I just didn't know the name of the song. So I didn't actually know what the song was called until just now. Now the song was released in 1979, which was a bit before my time, but I am an 80s baby. So I absolutely remember the song and I remember, I know the song, I've listened to it for, for a number of you know, decades, I can say. But anyway, it adds that, that 80s feel to the advert. What really struck me was how iconic so many of the cars were throughout the kind of the films and, and TV shows that I grew up watching. We see the Batmobile in, in, in the advert. And for me, I think back to Michael Keaton, Batman. Um, depending on when you were born, depending on what you know, would, would determine which Batman you think of. Because actually, I could even go as far as the Adam West Batman, but really the one that I grew up watching, apart from the Adam West one, which was on TV, but the one that I really grew up watching was Michael Keaton, and he kind of launched the Batman series within my lifetime. Um, and obviously since then, there's been lots of iterations of the Batman franchise. Then there's Ghostbusters, and obviously Ghostbusters has recently had a remake, an all-female cast, which is a good film. Um, but for me, when I think about Ghostbusters, I think about the original cast of, you know, Dana Croyd and Bill Murray. Um, and, and I just remember Slimer in there being a scary, a scary thing for me. I think I remember being quite scared by Shigoni Weaver in Ghostbusters when she gets possessed and it's kind of scary. Um, but I remember watching that as a child and thinking, my gosh, like, you know, I want to be a Ghostbuster when I get older. Possibly the, my favourite reference in the whole advert is of Knight Rider and you see a shot of Kit just driving through the desert and for me Knight Rider was one of my favourite shows as a kid. Um, that was David Hasselhoff at his best. People know him for different things, from Baywatch, whatever, but for me David Hasselhoff was never better than when he was Michael in Knight Rider and I know they've rebooted that programme and I think pretty much all of the films that you see or all of the TV shows that are, have been rebooted which I think just shows you what an iconic decade the 80s slash 90s were. Then there's Dumb and Dumber, Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber. I know again they made a, a re, uh, like a sequel of that film, I think it was Dumb and Dumber, um, I think it was that. Um, but for me, Dumb and Dumber when it came out was a really funny film, Jim Carrey at his best. Obviously there's Scooby-Doo and there's not much to say about it. There's Scooby-Doo, like, you know, those pesky kids who always seem to solve those um, adventures. I do think that today there'd be some safeguarding issues about the fact that you had all of these teenagers going around and just going to, you know, investigate all of these cases and stuff. And, and I think the RSPCA would probably want to get involved with the dog that was just literally taken and, and given these constant, just constantly given um, uh, Scooby snacks. Jurassic Park. Awesome reference. Um, I remember watching it as a child. Again, one of the first films I remember being genuinely scared at. Um, even though I knew it was fake, and even though I knew it wasn't real, um, it was a big deal, I think, at the time to have such special effects to bring to life these dinosaurs. I think Spielberg's got about two films in this advert, which just shows you um, the amount of influence he had over a generation. There are so many films that you can attribute to Spielberg that probably would be iconic films from a childhood. If you're of a particular generation, um, I don't know how much this current generation, the millennials, 
And I, get, I don't know whether I'm a millennial or not. I don't think I really fit into the millennial category, but there's a whole generation of people who wouldn't necessarily know Spielberg's work. Um, and whatever you might think of him, he produced some really iconic films. The trend nowadays is to go live action, and so there's a reference to Cinderella in this particular advert of the live action version. My kids love the live action version, but I'm a traditional Disney Cinderella cartoon uh, version. Um, and so I know you've got all of these different films. You had Jungle Book come out recently, Mowgli on Netflix, and you have um, Lion King being remade for 2019. And you've got all of these, um, Beauty and the Beast was made, remade not so long ago. So you've got lots of these cartoons or, animate, or animated films that are being made into live action films. But for me, the original would be, would be Cinderella with the, with the cartoon. Had the Flintstones. And the reference to the Flintstones, I think, is kind of cool. Um, I remember the film that was released, I think, in the mid '90s. If it was a really annoying song that that was made for Flintstones. Ah, oh, I can't remember it. Ah, oh, if you can remember it, comment and tell me what the song was. There's a really annoying song that I can see it in my head now. There was a song that was made for the Flintstones film and it was an annoying song at the time, but it was quite a popular song. But anyway, Flintstones, I remember Flintstones and watching, um, is it Meet the Jetsons? And there were a couple other cartoons, Top Cat, um, and some other kind of Hanna-Barbera films that were that were available when I was younger on the BBC, I think it was. But Flintstones was one of those those um, cartoons that for me was iconic and, and, and reminiscent of my childhood. Then you had obviously the reference to the new Bumblebee film that came out from the Transformers franchise. Um, for me, Transformers were a cool toy that you could play with. I used to, you know, it'd be that cool toy that like, my rich cousins would have and, and I wouldn't know how to kind of make it work and break it and then kind of try and put it away and leave it under their bed for them to find. But the Transformers for me was, was the cartoon series, the animated series. Um, that along with things like Thundercats and He-Man, those, th th those are childhood, um, uh, they bring back childhood memories for me. My favourite car in this was, was Kit. But I think probably my second favourite was the DeLorean, Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox was just so cool. Um, he was just a cool guy. And, and Back to the Future was a, was a cool film, you know. And it's so cool to see there's things that were in that film that are now available. Like I saw something the other day about hovercrafts or ho hoverboards that are available. And I think Nike, a couple of years ago, I think maybe two or three years ago, released a trainer that was the kind of trainer that they had in the film. These films still feel really fresh in my mind and they still in invoke certain emotions and certain memories because there is a sense of nostalgia, which makes me really aware that I am probably the target audience for this advert. Um, I am probably, the, because the advert's not actually about the cars or anything like that. It's not about movies, it's not about nostalgia, it's not about anything like that. The, the advert's actually about a new facility that Walmart have where you can kind of get your shopping, pick, you can pick up your shopping or something like that right which again appeals to me um, as a family man as a father um, having that would be really convenient um, so it's really clear to me that this advert is probably trying to appeal to 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 my generation or people of my age group who would understand the references in there there were however like two references there was this one which I have no idea where this is from so maybe it's lost on me comment tell me in tell me in the comments what the film was i don't know what the film was and 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 i wasn't sure and then there was this one and i'm not sure whether it dukes of hazard i'm not sure if it's if that's what the film's supposed to be or what the reference is i have no clue so so while i know most of these references there are some that i didn't know so let me know if you know what those references are let me know holler at me and let me know what they are tell me about the pop culture references you would expect to see in an advert what would have made this advert cool for you i think walmart did very well and i'm gonna give them a round of applause <laughs> if you like the video a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Um, let me know what you think. Maybe you didn't like it. If you didn't like it, tell me why. All right, speak to you soon. Peace.